Hey friends, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the D2 5J series. Um, today I am going to be ripping off the carburetor and then I'm going to let it soak in some Kim dip and hopefully I can tear it apart and clean it and not break it. I hope. I was following uh, Sasquatch's channel. Um, his dad, Senior, tore apart a couple of them. And it looks like pretty big job. I mean, it's not that hard. It's just so easy to break these little carburetors. This thing has a tiny carburetor. I was hoping I could find a knockoff one and just put a new one on. But I didn't find many parts. Or uh, not parts, but um, any knockoff brand carburetors. Since uh, the way this thing mounts up, it's like a 90. So it's not like a motorcycle carburetor. So it's a little different. So, I I do have a motorcycle carburetor off like a quad. I thought about trying to make an adapter plate and just put that on there because it works really good and the quad uh, blew up. So, I was like, shoot, I could use that carburetor. I paid 150 bucks for it. But I don't have a machine shop, a manual lathe, or a mill. I know how to use the, the lathe and the mill, kind of. Um, and I could definitely make something, but since I don't have that and it would probably cost me like two or 300 bucks at least to have a machine that's build that adapter plate for me, I think I'm just going to try to clean this carburetor out. Cause when I first got the dozer, it ran for like five or six minutes and then it, it just, I think it already had a bunch of crud in the carburetor. So it just plugged it up. And so I think it's, it's saveable. Um, I did service the filter on the machine but uh the pony motor filter with these little aluminum discs if you go in the, the previous series you'll see uh you'll see that uh, I, I guess they don't really filter out that well so i'm gonna try to modify a modern filter to fit in this little glass bowl see that little glass bowl right there and you can cut this filter out and put it in there if you're careful so i might try to do that because it's obviously it's filtering some stuff out, but I think it's letting some stuff get by. And I don't want to plug it up again because this carburetor is really hard to get off. See, there's a bolt back there. I don't know if you can see. Super hard to see. Then there's another bolt in there. I can get to that one, but this one, wow. That's going to be hard. I'm going to have to modify a wrench or something. Okay, let's get into it. Oh, what the deal with this is broke off. And... I'm going to have to make a new gasket while I'm in there. Might as well. Okay, so I don't even know if it's half inch, but I have this half inch wrench I had to cut in half to do for another job. I have this short box half inch. And I got this half inch wrench. There we go. That's a flathead, huh? We shouldn't put heat on the tank, huh?
Someone told me they're only supposed to last for 250 hours. I'm not sure about that, but it seems kind of should last longer, but I guess that is a lot of hours for a little tiny engine. things are so fat they don't even work on anything, I swear to god. Nope, that's not gonna work either. Wish I had a wrench to go on this, I don't have one that small. Yeah, we got it off. Heck yeah. Wow. You see that little jet right there? You want to save that guy. I guess they don't make them no more. We are in business. That was the sketchy part. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Look at that. We can get to that bolt. Whoa. Okay, let's I'm gonna shock these bolts. I can. Thought about using the chisel, but man. Try to break up some of that rust so that blaster can get in there. I think I need a mini crow's foot is what I need. Hey friends, so here, after I got it broke loose with the chisel, which I really didn't want to do, but I'm just going to get some new nuts when I install these back on. I just had to do a whole bunch of quarter turns, flipping the wrench every time, and it took forever. So I'm going to skip through most of this. This is the hardest part I'm taking apart this carburetor. You really need like a half inch crow's foot or something or just some kind of custom half inch wrench that'll fit in there to get this thing off. I even heard a lot of guys don't pull the carburetor off the side like I did because you can break the jet, but that was like the only way I could do it with the tools that I had. If you have any ideas, feel free to drop a comment down below.
We're getting somewhere. Whoa. So I'm thinking someone probably took this apart because uh, that jet didn't get stuck. So that's might be a little easier to service it if someone cleaned it out. Save that jet, and that makes me really happy. Is that part of the oil gasket? 